Well, the best thing about the fish was uli. You know, I think it's very different when a woman runs a bar. It really changes the vibe and it creates an atmosphere that also makes other women feel comfortable going in there. Unlike so many other New York places, the fish always just stayed real. You could roll there anytime, day or night, by yourself, you're gonna find your friends. There was no other place like that in New York City. Just the community of people that went there. It was like a little clubhouse section. The best thing about the fish was just the idea of like a kind of family vibe. It wasn't about the bar necessarily is about the vibe. If you take that same group of people and put them anywhere, everybody would have a great time. The best thing about Max Fish was community. For me, it was just like an adopted family. Well, Max Fish changed quite a bit over the years because the neighborhood changed. In the beginning, it was a very desolate kind of place that wasn't frequented by too many people. Nobody, I don't think, ever came from any other neighborhood. You sort of had to live in the neighborhood. To know about it. It definitely started to change a lot in the last few years when there was rumors about Max Fish closing. There was a lot of people trying to like kind of hang out there, get in there, claim it as their own. I think it kind of frustrated a lot of the locals because you had all these newbies. This, this population, you know, like we're all here. There's just a whole lot of other people. So when there's a place that you all can still go and and your priority and the other people are dead in second because so much about New York, we come in second because we're not the rich guys. Happy birthday, Max Fish! <laughs> I would say a majority of the people of my generation really started going when Mark Razzo started working there after Spoon. Like the skater bar with Spoon, which I was working when I first started bartending. And then that closed, so I started working at The Fish. And then once Tino started doing The Doors, it was just a full wrap. People were kind of bombed at first, like we invited some bike gang to the bar or something. But then after a while, it integrated pretty well. Like, every, like everyone got along. It was like this really nice kind of utopia society. The core community never really left. That was what made it great. Welcoming all of the local people who were there in the beginning, you know, the artists, the skateboarders, filmmakers, all the people who really made the community what it was. So they were still there and that's why Max Fish still matters. It always remained a place that I really loved and I always I continued to meet amazing people there and make new friends there over the years. For as much as it changed, it really remained the same in a lot of ways to me. It's about creativity and it's about artists that are sharing ideas where you could just hang and drink cheap beer and share ideas and that's where creativity comes from. And that's what this town was about. I mean, that's so much, such a big part of the whole Max Fish was that, you know, art was really a, an important part, but it never became a gallery or, you know, it was always a bar first and that really was able to incorporate art into the experience. This one, it really fit in and it was very organic and it wasn't forced. I'm sure the new Max Fish is gonna be amazing, but it won't be this. The only element I miss of Max Fish is the community element. I don't miss the bar itself. It's just weird that when a place like that closes, you kind of lose half your friends. It was just a great like little pause in everyone's life before everyone became like chronic alcoholics. It was just a little, little time out. Now we can go back, we're a little older, we're a little wiser, and we can enjoy the new Max Fish.